Good morning, everyone out there in the listening audience, real estate fans alike, and avid people on your way to church this Sunday morning. My name's Eric Hatch. I am happy to be your host of Real Estate Radio all morning long, and I'm a proud realtor with Hatch Realty. So if you ever want to stop by and see us, you can certainly do so just for a week or two left uh, at 1205 16th Avenue South in Fargo. We are kitty corner from CJ's Kitchen, just a block up from Dwayne's House of Pizza. My gosh, I love Dwayne's House of Pizza, by the way. Holy cow, uh, I'm drooling here on this Sunday morning thinking about that pizza, but I hope you're going to be drooling thinking about buying or selling a house because we want to make all that come true for you. Now, here at the top of the hour, we first want to thank our sponsor for today's show, the good people at Valley Mortgage. Uh, always great to work with them. Uh, our clients are elated with their service. So, Valley Mortgage, thanks for sponsoring today's show. Uh, but at the top of the hour, I get to say, Yahoo, yippity do. I'm so excited because Hatch Realty has been nominated once again by the forum in the, the annual best of competition. So if you're going online to vote for your best of, uh, there's a lot of great companies nominated and Hatch Realty is honored to be in that list. So if you get the opportunity, go online uh, and, and check it out. And if you choose to vote for Hatch Realty, man, I, I have a sticker and a hug and a high five waiting for you. Uh, that would mean an awful lot to us. Also, uh, I'm up for the third year in a row as best realtor, uh, according to the, the forum's best of competition. I've been fortunate enough to bring home that title the last two years, but there's some stiff competition this year, as well as an agent on my own team, uh, Emily Duma, who is fabulous and wonderful. Uh, I really, uh, I, I would love to win the award, but I would love to see Emily win the award. And if another agent wins the award, you know what? Every one of them is deserving. So I'd be happy for them. Uh, but take the time, vote for your best of in this local area. Uh, you can vote everything from your favorite Bloody Mary to your favorite local celebrity, uh, your favorite radio show and everything in between. Real Estate Radio did not make your own favorite radio show, and that's okay. Uh, I will be crying myself to sleep on my pillow, uh, but we're going to get through this. Now, in all seriousness, it is a great time. It is an exciting time to be in the real estate world, and I hope you decide to buy or sell soon because the opportunity is ever-present. So let's find out what your home is worth. I need you to go to livefargomorehead.com and check that out, or you can contact us at 701-369-4839. But first things first, let's find out what's happening with real estate news this week. I couldn't be more elated to have the ever debonair, the Rogaine hair model (laughs) self-proclaimed. I know that's a little out of line. I already went over the line and we just started uh, because you and I both are our spokesmen for Rogaine. I'll have to bring my hat next time. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Brian Johnson, Valley Mortgage. Great to have you in studio with us once again. How's life in your world? It's great, Eric. You know, it's keeping busy. The market's hot and... Uh, People are buying and selling, so it's great. Uh, It's always great to see things are moving in the real estate world, but there was a big uh, announcement or happenstance a week or two ago uh, from the feds. What did they tell us about interest rates? They were going to keep the rate uh, where it has been, so they decided not to do an increase. We still speculate that they might do it in December, though. Okay. Why not the increase now? Because uh, everything, all signs originally in mid-summer were pointing to this increase was going to happen. Yep. They were. The world markets really had a big play in it. Uh, China had a huge uh, decrease in their value in their economy, and that kind of played out for them to delay that. So, What about our stock market? Because uh, we've seen... Boy, uh, about an an eight percent depression in the stock market the last month. Does that play into it as well? It does. Uh, I mean, it was due for a correction, though. If you talk to any analysts, they were kind of expecting a correction at some point this I year. I wish you so. would have told me that before I invested in the stock market <laughs> this year, Brian. Thanks for that. Well, you're widely invested all over, so (laughs) you'll do well. I feel uncomfortable already with this conversation. Uh, Brian, so interest rates are staying low. I know you're not going to give specific numbers, but what are we seeing right now? Are we higher than where we've been? Are we under where we've been? Where are we at? You know, we're still sitting pretty good. Uh, For the year, I think we're nearing kind of the the low part that we've been at. Uh, We might be an eighth or a quarter higher than where we've been all year. But rates are still good. You know, 30-year fixed interest rates are still below 4%. Wow. 15 or below 3%. So we're sitting very good for where they expected they would be later this year. So So what do you expect then if if December we see a rate increase? Are we talking like 4% or are we talking 1% or a half percent? You know, I think things might increase a quarter percent within Mm -hmm. the next few months. Um, we get into next year, if things keep increasing, inflation goes up. If the Fed does inc- start to increase rates, 
we could see rates be a quarter to a half a percent by mid mid next year. Is that going to slow our market down, Brian? I don't really think it will. I, we've been at those levels uh, within the last 12 and 24 months, and that really didn't have a slowdown in our market. Uh, again, uh, those of you just tuning in, we're talking with Brian Johnson of Valley Mortgage, and we're talking interest rates. Uh, BJ, if we see interest rates shoot up a full percent or a percent and a half, is that going to change our market? I don't think so. And quite frankly, I don't think we'll see that increase for a little while. You know, a year Define or two. Define a little, okay, a year or two. That's like me saying I'm going to have a little piece of pizza <laughs> and I have nine Instead pieces. of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I have nine yeah. little pieces. Yeah. Yeah. So so you think at least for the next year or two, you're not going to see a major increase? I think it'll be slow. I think uh, things will progress a little bit at a time, you know, mm-hmm. a quarter percent here or there. But I think it'll be a while before we start to increase by a whole percent. Uh, so what kind of demand are you seeing uh, out there right now? Because... We've talked off air and on air. You're not seeing people refinance. No, that's gone down significantly, okay. especially in our area. Mm-hmm. Most everyone has refinanced already. There's a few here and there that values have creeped up, so people do have some equity. Um, I guess, ironically, I've had a couple lately that have done some cash out, and they've purchased lake properties. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, you just tickled my fancy <laughs> there a little bit. Tell me more about cashing out on your mortgage. You know, people, have, if they pay down their mortgage and their value is now increased, they're able to do a cash out refinance um, up to a certain percentage of what their value is. And then they can use that either to pay off debt, uh, use it to purchase other things. Years ago, people were using it um, to pay for student loans and college mm-hmm. tuition for their kids. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, boy, I, I say make them pay themselves and, and go on a vacation. That's what well, I <laughs> That'll help the economy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being optimistic with that. Uh, BJ, so help me understand, uh, if we have listeners out there, let's say they own a $300,000 house, uh, and they owe 150000 on it. How much can they cash out? Can they cash out the other one fifty? Typically, you can go up to about 80% of the total value, mm-hmm. including your first mortgage. So if you owe three hundred. You should be able to go up to 240 or so. Good math. I was checking it. I was working <laughs> it. Uh, so you're looking at if you have uh, 50, uh, if you owe 150 and your house is worth 300, you can basically cash out 90,000 bucks. Correct. And so does that go back onto your mortgage uh, and does that refinance your whole mortgage so you're back to a 30 year or does that get added on if you were down to say 20 years left on your on your mortgage? You have any option you'd want to do. So you could refinance it back to a 30 year if you're more comfortable with that payment and then pay extra. Or there's 20-year options, 15. Uh, I had somebody recently do a 10-year. You know, what I've seen uh, people do, and I think it's an exciting opportunity for them, is I've seen folks who have uh, 17 years left on their on their 30-year mortgage, and yet they refinance at a better interest rate, or they even cash out to pay off their other debt in their life. They go down to a 15-year or a 10-year mortgage, and all of a sudden their payments as a whole are like $700 less than what they were previously. Yep, that, that does happen. It's amazing. Uh, because the debt that you're accruing on your vehicle, the debt that you're accruing on credit cards is oftentimes at a much higher interest rate, isn't it? It is. And credit cards and personal loans. Uh, with s- some certain financial institutions, you know, they have higher interest rates. So if we can cut those out and you can use your home as collateral, typically you'll lower your payments. So it seems as though everybody needs to talk to you right now, BJ. Uh, so those of you who are listening, if you want to get pre-approved for a mortgage, if you want to rebundle and rehash and get rid of some other debt in your life, you got to talk to Brian Johnson. How can they contact you, BJ? Sure. Call my office at 701 461 8450 or visit us online at valleymortgageinc.com. BJ, thanks for sponsoring today's show. You're a great friend and a wonderful advocate in this industry. Those of you that are listening right now, stick around. We have a lot more show coming up. But in the meantime, head to livefargomorehead.com to find out what your home is worth. This is Real Estate Radio with Eric Hatch. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio. As always, I'm your host, Eric Hatch. And goodness gracious, winter is around the corner. I hate to even think about that unfathomable cold season around the corner, and yet it's going to be here before we know it. So I have some helpful tips from the great people at Hatch Realty back to you on ways to get your home ready for winter. Uh, Grab a pen and a piece of paper. uh, Grab uh, some sort of chisel and a brick and rock or whatever you need to do to take notes during this because this is important stuff that could save you thousands of dollars and a whole lot of hassle on your house. So let's talk about ways to get your home ready for winter. Top of the list is this. If you have a sprinkler system, make sure that the lines get blown out. 
uh, you will have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage if those lines hold water and then it freezes and then those lines are going to explode when the water expands and contracts and does all that crazy stuff. You're going to have a hot mess underneath the ground, which then not only means that your sprinkler system is going to break, but then you could possibly have water intrusion in your own house. So make sure that you blow out your sprinkler system. If you need some companies to, to recommend, uh, we have a whole bunch of people in our back pocket that we would love to help you out with. Next up, because it's always about water prevention, we need to make sure that you clean your gutters. Uh, wait until most of the leaves fall, and, and even if they're falling and it's rainy or snowy, you still need to get those gutters cleaned because getting that water away from your house, especially during heavy fall rains or even more importantly during spring rains, are going to be imperative to keep water away from your foundation. So make sure your gutters are gutter extensions are on and that you've cleaned your gutters. The third tip Hatch Realty has for you here on ways in which to get your home ready for winter is this. Make sure that you know your snowblower works before it starts snowing. Uh, I'm that guy who will try turning it on after four feet of snow and I haven't used it for a year. And I'm that guy who ends up shoveling my whole stinking driveway because I was too lazy and lackadaisical to prepare. Please let this be my my own personal endorsement that you shouldn't be that guy or that gal. Get your snowblower ready and rocking so that you can have a super clean driveway with little to no hassle. Oftentimes, too, you actually want to get that service. You want to get the oil changed out and you want to get it flushed out <clears throat> so that the pros can take care of that. Next up, don't forget to service your furnace. It is going to be working on overtime here in the next few months. Uh, so make sure that it's clean. Make sure you've changed your filter and make sure that the service is uh, the, the furnace is operating at a high efficiency rate. Not doing so could cost you some serious cash or it could lead to something malfunctioning or breaking. And that's an expense I want you to avoid. We're talking about ways in which to save your house from the dreaded winter blues. Next up, we want you to cover your window wells. Uh, if those fill with snow and then we have a really warm day in the spring, if it's filled with snow, then all that water, all that snow that melts is going to go straight to your drain tile and your, your foundation could be in a serious bit of trouble if there's too much water and not enough retention. So cover your window wells with window covers to make sure that you're keeping those dry. Of course, and I've made this mistake before and it didn't cost me fortunately, but I've seen it cost people thousands, remove the hose from your exterior water faucet. Uh, what happens again, as I explained to the sprinkler system, is the, the water, soon to be ice, is going to expand and then it's going to lead all the way into the house. It's going to be frozen and burst pipes and you're going to have a hot and cold mess in your house. Finally, the last thing you need to do here before winter hits is you need to disconnect your sump pump hose at the exterior of your home. I seem to be beating a dead horse here talking about all these water intrusion problems, but it's the biggest problem that happens to people's homes, and it's typically not something wrong with the house. It's something wrong with the owner. Uh, it, I'm not saying that we're broken as people. We just have human error that gets in the way all too much. So be sure to disconnect that sump pump hose before the big freeze happens. Now, we actually have some more tips that we want to share with you, but we're not going to do so right now. I want you to call us so we can talk about this. 701-369-4839. It's time now for the Eric Hatch Team's Picks of the Week here on Real Estate Radio. I have some houses you need to know about. They just have hit the market, and I want you to be able to buy them before anybody else does because you can say, Eric, I heard you talk about it on the radio. This was a wonderful house, and you made everything better for my family. That's what I want to hear. But these houses are spectacular. This first one in South Fargo in the Eagle Point District. So that is just east of Davies High School. It's way out there, uh, and yet it is just becoming the, the major metropolitan area of South Fargo. 7196 14th Street South, a giant Rambler priced at 472.9. Uh, oh my gosh, this house is beautifully finished. Uh, we have an absurd amount of bedrooms and bathrooms here. We're talking five bedrooms, four bathrooms, excuse me, five bedrooms, 
three bathrooms, three garage stalls, beautifully landscaped inside and out. Uh, I want you to imagine walking into a house that feels brand new, looks brand new, but doesn't have all the pain and annoyance of building your own house. You can move right in, call this your own, and at 472.9, it's way less than whatever it costs for you to build. So don't wait on this house. You got to jump on it. Again, 7196 14th Street South. And if you aren't into the new areas, I want to talk about a house that's in an older area. Not old, but established. Uh, the address is 90 23rd Avenue North in South Fargo for 285000 bucks. Holy cow, this is a lot of house. We're talking, it's a four-level split, uh, over 2,000 square feet, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and the garage stalls. There's not only one, there's one attached, and then there's also an additional garage in the back. Uh, there's a lot of house here, uh, and in this four-level split, lots of great updates, full mature trees, everything that you want in a neighborhood. So these homes and a slew more can be found at livefargomorehead.com, or you can always have your own home featured on Real Estate Radio by calling us at 369-4839. But as we get close to the end of today's show, I want us to, to talk for just one minute about where the market is going, because Brian Johnson and I touched upon it, that interest rates are still staying low. The Fed has come in and said, at least until December, interest rates aren't going to move more than an eighth of a percent, which is what they shift to every day. So what that means for you as a homeowner is that buyers can still afford your house if your house costs a premium. What that means for you as a, as a home buyer is you're able to buy more house for the buck. You're able to get more house and, and uh, it's not about what the cost of the house is, it's about what your monthly payment is. So if you're looking at a house and this is a very rough estimate because specials and insurance and taxes all play into this, but with all those included with a rough estimate, if you buy a $150,000 house and you fully finance that house, meaning you put minimum to no money down on this house, you can get into that for less than $1,000 a month. Typically, that's a three bedroom, one or two bath, one or two garage stall house in this market that you can get into for less than $1,000 a month. Now show me an apartment that you can rent uh, that is three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a garage stall for around that price, and I'll be pretty shocked. I know that they're out there, but I'll be pretty shocked if we can actually find that. So if you're sitting in a place right now that you're renting, maybe now is the time to consider getting into a house. We can get you pre-approved. We can see what you qualify for, and the worst that can happen is you strike out and you don't find what you're looking for and you stay where you're at. Now, if you're a home seller and you're sitting in a house, maybe, just maybe, your house is worth more than you ever thought possible. Ask Hatch Realty to come out, give us the opportunity to interview for your job, uh, to, to work with you, and we'll give you a very specific analysis of what we think your home is worth. Now, for a generic analysis and a general analysis, go to livefargomorehead.com, but to get very specific with us, call us at 701-369-4839. And that's it. Thanks so very much for listening to today's show. I've been your host, Eric Hatch from Hatch Realty. I've been your host on Real Estate Radio on the Mighty 790 KFGO.